our next speaker today is Anna Papa. She is an associate professor in computer science at the University of Paris 8 and a member of the PASTIS team in the Laboratory of Artificial Intelligence and Semantic Data. Anna, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Is that OK? Everyone can see my screen? OK, thank you very much. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> OK, thank you. OK, so my name is Anna Papa. I'm also a professor in computer science at the University of Paris 8. I would like to present a collaborative artistic research project named Little Bot. It consists of creating a conversational agent that dialogues with literature, characters, or authors. The participants of this project, besides me, are Rocio Berenger, who is a playwriter and artist, and um, many colleagues from BNF, like uh, Arnaud Le Bordery, Cecil Cross, and others. Since uh, 2023, the year of 400 years of the anniversary of Molière, for this occasion, it will take place an exhibition at the BNF uh, in September with an installation of uh, the artist Rocio Berenger around Little Boot, which will be a mediation device with public. So we work with the 17th century theater and more specifically the place of Primolier, uh, present here a theatrical dialogue system that responds like a character of Molière's play based on a deep learning sequence to sequence model. So uh, a dialogue system, conversational artificial intelligence, uh, is a system that makes easier and smoother the interaction between humans and electronic devices. We distinguish two types, the traditional task oriented that helps user with specific tasks like bank account, travel reservation, product information. And if we would like to make the, to do the architecture of a, a system like this, it will be, um, uh, take the, uh, the human uterans, uh, we will uh, parse uh, these uterans into predefined semantic slots uh, by the module that's called natural language understanding. Uh, next uh, level, it will be the dialogue state tracker that manages the input of each turn along with the dialogue history and outputs the current state uh, dialogue. Uh, then it will be the dialogue policy learning that learns the next action based on the current state dialogue. And uh, it will produce, uh, it maps the selected action straight surface and generates the response. So uh, here we are. Who are you? I'm a robot. Okay, um, this is the classical pipeline for this task oriented system. Um, let's go to the another system uh, we call a closed open domain question answering. Unlike traditional task oriented votes, an open domain dialogue system aims to establish long term connections with users by satisfying the human need for communication, affection and social belonging. So we have the closed domain that it's, uh, the task is answering questions only from one domain, uh, for instance, uh, legal or medical and the open um, uh, system uh, that task that answers to uh, any question about anything. So uh, recent works uh, on neural approaches address three challenges in, develop, in developing these kind of uh, systems. Um, it is uh, semantics, consistency, and uh, interactiveness. Uh, so we can say that semantics requires a dialogue system not only understand the content of the dialogue but also identify user social needs during the conversation. Uh, consist consistency is to um, requires the system to demonstrate a consistent personality to win users trust and gain their long-term confidence. And interactiveness refers to the system's ability to generate uh, interpersonal responses to achieve particular social goals, such as entertainment, conforming, um, or task completion. So uh, this system seems really intelligent, but uh, understanding is rather complicated task because of ambiguities and uncertainty of the natural language. To help, um, build better open domain dialogue systems, Alexa Prize team developed context-aware topic and dialogue act classification model. 
there are others like dialogue system technology challenge and others that uh, they really uh, do this uh, challenge every year. The challenge consists of building agents that can chat coherently with humans for at least 20 minutes and obtain up to four, uh, five is the maximum, rating score. So uh, evaluation of an open domain dialogue system is a very challenging problem. There are, uh, in the metrics that they propose, there are five uh, points, uh, very complicated, uh, each one. Comprehensible, this uh, checks if the dialogue system's response made sense with respect to the user's query. On topic or relevant, this metric checks if the dialogue system's reply is of the topic or not. A response incorrectness, this metric checks if the response is irrelevant or inappropriate and uh, interesting. Uh, so this is very subjective sometimes, all these metrics, but anyway, this is uh, the kind they measure all, uh, the evaluation of uh, these uh, systems. So interesting, this metric checks if the response contains information that is novel or relevant or and relevant. Continue conversation, so this checks if based on the current state of the conversation, if there is a natural way to continue the conversation. So um, here we come with all our projects. Um, this is a, a research creative project. Uh, as I told you, it's a cultural mediation device to dialogue with Don Juan on the occasion of the Moliere Cadre Centenary exhibition at the BNF next December. It's an artistic project proposed by the artist Rocio Berenguer, accompanied by Vialica Studio on behalf of the Performing Arts Department of the BNF. The challenge we have for this experiment in uh, uh, a free dialogue with the 17th century theatrical chatbot is that uh, the chatbot is um, a speaking, or more correctly, right in response to 17th century friends and understand actually uh, today's friends. We had to build a, a new data set from a corpus composed uh, exclusively of um, 17th century uh, theater, uh, um, Moliere and some others like Romé de Raymond. I create a reproducible model for um, all other literary works, processing um, feeling and emotion for instance, if the person is uh, the person, the character is Don Juan, being very seductive, uh, and being coherent in the free dialogue play. Uh, so we started by uh, the, the problem we had is uh, to create this data set because the learning uh, module is uh, easy once we, we had the, the correct data set. So all the point was how to create the data set. We started by download all the 17th uh, century plays in French uh, language. As I told you, mostly Moliere, but we had some um, plays from Corneille, Dorimont, and some others. Uh, we all take, uh, we took all that from Gallica, it's, uh, for the corpus we had. The problem uh, is that uh, when we uh, wanted to create that stuff, uh, it had to be um, <laughs> homogeneous. So we had to, the difficulty to prepare the data, to make them uh, um, all the same at the typographical, typographical level and also at the, the size level. So here you see the, uh, the context we had in the beginning. Okay, let me stop that. Um, we had another challenge to create all that is to respect uh, the rhyme of the place. As you can see, uh, they have not the same uh, sentence as we call it the size sentence, but this is the verse, this is uh, a perfect rhyme and we had to, to respect it and to create uh, the dialogues with um, um, the cleaners and the filters who respect that. So, um, as you can see, it is very complicated because we wanted to autom to make all these process automatic. And so we had to respect really the, the rhyme. <laughs> and uh, for uh, 
the person uh, who enters and the person who responds. So, um, sorry, we had all these uh, plays and uh, this is uh, a preview of what uh, we can consider like an input and the target uh, in France. I hope you will, uh, it is easy for you to, to see the, the rhyme in this uh, preview. Okay. And um, so the, um, as a, a result of all that, I could say that uh, the, the creation of the data set is really a time consuming process. We wanted a model uh, with no prior knowledge about language or other world knowledge. So we had to create a big data set of at least uh, 100,000 replicas. So, um, the last test we had, uh, it is uh, around 60,000. We never uh, could make it to 100. But anyway, the, pro uh, the pre-processing to adapt it uh, to the question answering uh, model was a very long procedure. We had to adapt and homogenize the size of each replica. Um, at the end, uh, you can see all this uh, automatic uh, uh, procedure to correct, filter, clean, and um, as you can see, there is uh, practically, uh, and everything is uh, automatic for each intermediate uh, step uh, for the creation of, of the corpus. So, uh, sorry, we had uh, to use, uh, the, we had, we choose to, to use a sequence to sequence model we use deep learning techniques. Uh, this is a variant of transformer model from Google. As you can uh, see in this uh, uh, figure, uh, we have two, uh, uh, two person, two people that uh, discuss. Uh, so we have the uh, first uh, person, we can imagine that says ABC and the other replies uh, W, X, Y, Z. We can use a recurrent neural network and train to map ABC to WXYZ. The hidden state of the model when it receives the end of the sequence symbol, that you can see end of sentence or end of sequence, can be viewed as the thought vector because it stores the information of the sentence of the thought ABC. Okay, the, so you can see the first part as the encoder. It reads the input sequence one token at a time and the decoder that predicts the output sequence also one token at a time. So uh, the probability to find a word in a context and to reproduce it. This is, uh, if I can say that a uh, very simple way. During training, the output sequence given to the model, so is, um, uh, it learns by what we call back propagation. This is the bidirectional uh, model. Um, the strength of this model lies in its simplicity and generality. We can use this model for mass and translation, question answering, and conversations without major uh, changes in the architecture. So, um, um, I like uh, easier tasks like translation. However, a model like sequence to sequence will not be able to successfully solve the problem of modeling dialogue due to several. Um, obvious uh, simplifications. Uh, the objective function is being optimized, but does not capture the actual objective that is achieved through the human communication, which is typically longer term and based on exchange of information rather than the next step prediction. The lack of a model to ensure consistency and general world knowledge is another obvious limitation of a purely unsupervised model like ours. Uh, so here we have a preview uh, that I tested uh, just before the presentation. You can find the URL. I will put it on the chat later so you, everyone can uh, test it. The predicted sequence can be selected based on the probability of the sequence, which is really um, very amusing to create dialogues with a virtual Don Juan, who sometimes uh, lacks consistency. Anyway, um, to conclude, uh, so uh, we, uh, sorry, we uh, present a, a theatrical open dialogue chatbot 
it's a really unique of this, uh, this kind. The style and language are preserved since 17th century, the style is Molière. The prediction is respected uh, as uh, it learned the sequence, it will always give the sequence. Generating new sentences is um, almost okay, but uh, it's a little bit complicated uh, because uh, I never learned the actual way of uh, structure, of construction of the phrase. But uh, some mostly is quite coherent. This is the phase of the test. We have no metrics applied yet, but it will be a, an evaluation when the, the phase of the test will finish and the correction will be uh, given. And uh, here in the perspectives, I'll, I'll give you some of what we uh, will do in a very uh, short time. Uh, we would like to train with the French dialogue data set, for instance, the data set of open subtitles in French, and then fine tune the data set Molière. So the, the risk is to, to lose a little bit of the style of Molière, or maybe a lot, but we have to test it so to correct uh, the, the consistency of uh, the world knowledge. And um, we'd like to use another model, uh, to sec to sec, uh, GPT, generative pre-trained transformers for friends. Uh, some work uh, have been done there, so I would like to test it. And we would like to use different theatrical corpora for transfer modeling like uh, other languages, why not Shakespeare or other. So thank you very much for your attention. And uh, please, uh, uh, you are allowed to go and test uh, the prototype of this uh, theatrical chatbot. Thank you.